Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're going to focus on Express. We're going to kind of get introduced to what Express is and we're going to start using it in our applications and then in further videos we're going to also start working with APIs. So this module is going to be all about Express and APIs. So let's start off with Express. What is Express? You've heard me talking about it in previous videos. I said we were going to use it but we haven't really talked about it much yet. Express is just what it says here, fast, unopinionated, minimalist web framework for Node.js. Basically, Express allows us to serve web pages using Node. That's really what it does. It's the most popular um, web framework for Node. That's why I chose to use it in this course, because it's the one you're most likely to come into contact with. It also has fantastic documentation and excellent community around. It's just wonderful. Express is great. So we are on the Express documentation, and really you can see it's super easy to install. Um, one thing you'll notice is that a lot of times in um, NPM packages they'll say to have this dash dash save on there. That's no longer required. That's kind of a legacy thing. You used to have to push dash dash save in order to save it to your um, package.json, but you no longer have to do that. Um, all you have to do is NPM install express or even shorter NPM I express and it will install it. You can see the current version right here is 4.17.1. Um, so if you run into any problems or anything like that, you might consider installing that specific version. Um, I don't foresee any problems as long as you don't start using 5 or one of the other major releases, you should be fine. But in, in case that happens, that's the current version that we will be using for these videos. Express is not only for web applications, I want to point out. You can also use it for APIs, and many people do. Because all the, these APIs really are, and we'll talk about APIs later in this uh, module, but basically they allow you to get data using a HTTP request. So you can use Express for web apps, you can use it for APIs, um, it works well for both of those. Express also has a fantastic performance. It's, it's super fast, it's wonderful. I, I love Express. And that's it for this video. In the next one, we're going to actually install Express and start using it. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.